Pep Guardiola certainly happy with the form of Raheem Sterling after his game winner against Huddersfield Town. That's two game winners in a week for the young Englishman. What a season it's been for Raheem Sterling. Nice. Well, let's not forget he was in the mix for the Alexis Sanchez transfer. Allegedly. I, I'm not sure how much is in that, whereas when City were trying to get Sanchez in the summer, right at the death in the transfer window, apparently San, uh, Walcott was part of the deal going the other way to Ar uh, Sterling was part of the deal going to Arsenal, sorry, not Theo Walcott. Uh, I kind of wonder when you see how much he's played if that was actually true. I don't know. But let's just say, Ross, Raheem Sterling won a watch with that not happening. Because he's been playing great. We know he's been playing great. And it's been a progression since uh, since Pep Guardiola's gone in. Uh, his game has drastically improved. He's played most of the games, if not all. He's end product in the final third is better which is hugely important it was a big problem for him uh, and the team are playing well uh, so he's looking fit he's, his pace is there he's been a bit more direct than he's been looks a bit more confident when he's running at people dropping the shoulders he looks if like he's strengthened up a little bit as well which is important so all in all he's got to be delighted with his start what sort of percentage or what what kind of props do you give it that it's a, a player who's just growing and he's fitting into the system that Guardiola wants. Guardiola, we've seen him coaching him, pulling him aside, telling him where to go here, where to go that. I mean, is it instinctual ability or is it a bit of both or is it all Guardiola? No, I think it's a bit of both. I think it's 50-50 because the old saying, you can take the horse to water but you can't make it drink. So I, I've no doubt Guardiola's had a big influence, it would seem, on, uh, on lots of players in this team. You know, Mark Ogden, our colleague, I think wrote a column saying and, and ESPN saying uh, you know, one of the things Guardiola's done well is getting the unity together. So getting the whole squad, not just that they're technically good, but they're actually playing for each other. So when you get that and you get the talent level that they've got, you know, David Silva, De Bruyne, Fernandinho mopping up and doing all the good work, Jesus and Aguero, you know, playing one week and sitting out the next and really rotating well. And then Raheem Sterling, I think it's a bit of both. The manager's clearly getting them to do different things, getting them to take up different positions. The passing's quicker, the work rate's better. Everything just looks sharper. And I think it's a 50-50 thing. Sterling's taking it on board. Otherwise, he's out of the team. You've got Bernardo Silva that can come in. You've got other players that can come in and do that job. So he knows if he's not playing well and taking the manager's message on board, then he's out because Guardiola can't have any slackers. And Sterling hasn't been a slacker this season for sure. Yeah, and he's certainly carrying on that form now. He'll be 23 in a couple of weeks' God, time. he's still young. And he's got uh, <laughs> one more goal to go to Leeds equal his best ever season. Yeah. So you've jinxed him. The sky is the limit. Don't say that. <laughs>